Artie absolutely dreams of riding in a sidecar. I can tell he does. He loves it that much. This is the best day of his life every time we get on that motorcycle and go. I just told him to get in the sidecar, and I put a set of doggles on him, and we just took off down the road. I'm sure if Steve McQueen was alive, we would have a, a sidecar and a dog in there, because it's so cool. He's definitely a, a rider. He definitely enjoys it. Man, when he gets in the sidecar, he, he does this yowling, yipping thing that is just it's comical. He howls. <laughs> they are experiencing the world much more richly through their nose than through their eyes. They say it's almost like an orgasm for dogs to get out on the road because they smell so much. If you're not a dog person, you probably don't get it. You know, it's hard to explain the intrinsic comfort and joy that you get from having your buddy along with you on a trip. I've come across some tough times where I was going to sell the bike and he always says, no way, you can't do it. There is definitely a connection between the rider and the dog. I will admit I do talk to Bruce the whole time that I'm riding. Whatever it is you want to do, they're all for it. Let's do it, you know, and that's kind of nice having a companion like that. Even if it's pouring with rain, even if it's cold, even if it's miserable, even if we break down, he still has a good time. is definitely just a part of the family. When things are tough in your life, there is no better cure than a fussy little animal giving unconditional love. We're constantly sort of torn by a desire to be safe and secure and happy and warm and well fed. And on the other hand, to have fun and to do stuff and to live our lives and to be adventurous. I call him my co-pilot, you know, he, he never steers me wrong. <laughs>